Well, I, as I always challenge it, our kids that, hey, you know, you almost got to be perfect in Division Two to make the playoffs. And so we, we stub our toe in the middle of the year, and now every game is like a playoff game in the way we have to uh, treat it. And so maybe that mindset has helped us throughout this year. Hopefully it, it, the residual effect will help us win the next four weeks. It feels good. Uh, I think it's a good step so I'm like carries forward now. Uh, I've been here and I've like been a part of the vibe every, like you said, every year. And every time we've got a chance to go to the playoffs, there's always been a different feeling and compared to this year. And like we're hot now, so I'm just excited to keep it rolling. Yeah, there's a different feeling in the air. And every year uh, it's, it's been exciting to get the playoffs, but you know, our goal can't be to get two playoffs. We're, we're trying to get through playoffs and do something uh, that we haven't done before. It's a thorn in our side, and we're tired of hearing about how we can't play in the playoffs. You know, we're a strong team, a talented team. Um, this extra week of preparation is going gonna, is gonna to be good for us. I, I believe that all the way. This, the, the, this group has been unbelievable. We're part of the pride and tradition of pack football and, and building this thing up. But, you know, to leave their legacy of winning 53 games in their five years career, being able to do that. There's still something out there that they have not accomplished. It's called unfinished business right now. And these kids are really locked in and want to go play their best ball through December.